So today I'm down at Headlands Farm Fishery in Hampshire and that's for another video that I'm producing for Catch. But I thought I'd just stop for five minutes and talk a little bit about camera kit. Now we get asked all the time what we use uh, for filming and for photography. So I thought firstly I'd talk about the, the lens that I use probably 80% of the time, whether that's photography or videography, and that is a Sigma 24-70 to 2.8 art lens. Now, if you're looking for an all-rounder, one lens fits all, then this is going to be something well worth considering. If you're big into your photography or big into video, then this, yeah, this 24-70 literally does everything you could need it to. You've obviously got the versatility of a zoom, and in the past, I've definitely been guilty of thinking zooms aren't sharp enough, and you have to go down the prime route, which led me to having a 24, a 50, an 85, and you're constantly changing your lens. Whereas this lens has got pretty much all them focal lengths in one lens. So there's no changing, and it is pretty much every bit as sharp as what the primes are. It's sharp at 2.8, which is the widest aperture it can be, but that is that lets more than enough light in. The downside is obviously you're not getting something like 1.4 aperture where you're really blurring the background out, but to be honest, 2.8 at 70 mil, it does blur things out quite nicely. So overall, if you're looking for a, a one lens fits all situation, definitely consider a 24-70 2.8. Like I say, this is a Sigma art lens, but a lot of the 24-70 2.8s are of a very high quality. Anyway, that's it for now. Watch the full video over on the Carpology YouTube channel where I tell you everything you need to know about Headlands Farm Fishery.